All right, let's take a look at what's called a simple interest or a simple interest formulas. Um, let, let me read this through and try and explain every piece to it. The idea here is that you're going to put some money into an, a bank. It's going to accumulate interest from the bank. We want to know how much money is going to be there at the end. So if P dollars, that's the amount of money, your principal balance, the amount of money that you put in, is invested for T years, that's how long you're going to leave it in there, into a simple interest account. Now this is important because these formulas only work when you're using simple interest. At an interest rate of R, then the amount A in the account is, now there are two cases. If your interest is compounded N times a year, and that'll be given to you, then this is the formula that you'll use. The amount in the account is equal to the principal, that's what you put in, times one plus N, the number of times it's compounded per year, divided by R, your interest rate, all raised to the R interest rate times T, time the, the number of years that you put it in the account for. You compute all that out, and that's how much money would be in there. Now, on this one, this says the interest is compounded continuously. That, again, would be given to you in the problem. Now, the amount in the account will be equal to P, your, the amount of money that you put in, E, that special number, and then raised to the R times T. <clears throat> now, the important note here, I guess if there's one little important note, when you're dealing with R in this problem, most of the time it's going to be given to you as a percentage, and you're going to convert that to a decimal. Okay, so you don't want to put the percentage in here, you want to put the decimal form of the number. Okay, so let's, let me give you um, an example, okay? Let's say that we're going to take $10,000 and we're going to invest $10,000 into an account. So that's P. So $10,000 is invested into a simple interest account. Let's say that we're going to leave it in there for uh, three years. So three years would mean that T is three. Let's say that um, the interest rate is 2.5%. Uh, Okay, so that's your interest rate, and that's R. Now, let's compute how much money would be in this account in both cases. Okay, in case one, let's say that it is compounded, um, the interest is compounded monthly. If interest is compounded monthly, then that means that your N, that's the number of times per year, is 12, because that's monthly, 12 months in a year. Let's say that they said the interest was compounded daily then you'd let N be 365. If they say it was um, compounded quarterly, you'd say N is equal to four. Okay, so for our first case, we'd use this formula, A equals P times one plus R over N to the NT. Okay, so we know that the amount in the account will be 10,000. Okay, one plus, now our interest rate. Make sure you convert this into a desk into a decimal form. To convert a percentage to a decimal, you move the decimal point two places to the left. So it's going to be 0 0.025, that's our R, divided by N, which we found to be 12, right, the monthly, and then raised to the N, which is 12, times T, which is 3. And all we need to do now is compute this. So I'm going to go ahead and compute this now right up here. And the first thing that I'm going to do is figure out uh, 12 times 3, that's 36. So let's remember this exponent's going to be 36. But I'm going to do this divided by this. Okay, so I get my calculator. I do 0 0.025 divided by 12. And you should get something like uh, 0 0.002083. And I recommend you use as many decimals, as many numbers as your calculator shows you. So that's this. So here's where we are. The amount in the account will be 10,000, one plus, now this number, 0 0.002083 raised to the 36 power. Remember, 12 times three is 36. Now one plus this, right? Order of operation says you must do what's in parentheses first. So one plus that is 1.002083 raised to the 36. So now my calculator, I'm gonna take this and raise it to the 36 power. 1.002083 raised to the 36th power, and I'll write down what I get here. I get 10,000 times uh, 1.07779, and now I just multiply 10,000 times this. 
Of course, that just moves decimal points over, but it comes out to be $10,777.90. So if you were to take $10,000, put it into a simple interest account for three years at an interest rate of 2.5%, and interest is compounded monthly, after the three-year period, you'll have $10,777.90. Now let's look at case two. Case two would be if in the problem they told you that the interest was compounded continuously. Continuous compounded means you use a different formula. And notice in this formula there's no N. And that's because for the continuous compounded, you don't use N. Okay, so A is equal to, <clears throat> P we know is 10,000, E to the, now R remembers the interest rate, 0 0.025, times T, which is the number of years we leave it in there, which is going to be 3. So again, notice, no use of N in the problem. Now, I'm going to, on my calculator, figure this out. So the amount in the account will be 10,000, E to the, I'm going to do 0 0.025 times 3, and of course that's gonna give you 0 0.075. And now I've gotta do e to that power before I multiply by 10,000. So I'm gonna, on my calculator, do it. e to the 0 0.075. So here's what I get. 10,000 times 1.07788. And now multiply 10,000 times this and you'll get $10,778.80. So you can see that if the interest was compounded monthly uh, and compared to con continuously, we're only off by you know maybe a little bit less than a dollar. I think it's 90 cents. I, I don't remember what the previous answer was, but there's not a whole lot of difference. But in these problems, you're either gonna be told it's compounded so many times per year or compounded um, continuously, and that's the two different cases.